Hello, hello, and welcome to this eCognition Deconstructed video. Today, we're gonna have a look at a feature. And this feature is called, let's put it up here, statistic of object value. And you can find it in the feature view under map features, objects, statistic of object value. And if you double click this statistic of object value, this create new, you're gonna get these options here. So what can you define here? Class, that's one parameter. Um, I have different class. So you select the class you want to compute statistics for here. And then with different statistical operations, undefined number, min, max, mean, sum, standard deviation. And you, for example, could compute the mean value. And then you can select a feature from the feature list. And then what it will do, it will create or compute this statistical operation, so the mean of the feature that you've selected here, only for the classes selected here. So for all parcel classes, it computes the mean of this feature. So it won't include the other classes or unclassified, right? So you will get one value which represents the mean of all those objects, classified as parcel in this case, of a certain feature. And um, yeah, I'm quickly gonna show you how, I'm gonna put it here, how you could use that uh, in a project. So a small use case here. What you see here in the view is uh, image and I do have one thematic layer representing my parcels and another one with points. Um, those are single trees. And now I'm actually interested in statistics of the parcels regarding the trees. So what is the parcel uh, with the highest number of trees? Which is the parcel uh, with the lowest number of trees? And what's the lowest number of trees? What is the mean? So um, statistics about the parcels in my project. So what I first do here is I do a segmentation and classify those parcels. So I have image objects that are representing the parcels and I classified them here in this uh, yellow goldish color. And now we can have a look at this statistic of object value. Let's assume you want to know the total number of trees within all of your parcel objects. What you have to do is uh, go into feature view and the map features objects, statistic of object values, double click this, create new, then you have to select the class, in our case it's parcel. Then we want to have the sum. And the feature is number of those uh, points within one object. And this can be found here under object features, thematic layer, um, overlap. And I think I already created the yeah, number of overlapping thematic objects. This feature gives you the number of overlapping thematic objects per object. So it simply counts how many trees in this case are within one object. And this statistic of object value now sums up all of those numbers um, for each object is classified as parcel and gives me that value. Image object information. Let's put it here. Okay, uh, I have to put it here. All right, that's good. And let's resize the window. So you see here, sum of thematic layer two on parcels. Thematic layer two are the trees on parcels, so only in parcels. In total, we have 17,238 trees. Now let's say, we are interested in the mean value, right? Same procedure. We select a parcel here in this create statistic of object value. We now select a different statistical operation and the feature is the same. It's number of overlapping thematic objects, number of overlap thematic layer two. Okay, the mean is 140. Now one more parcel. Let's go for standard deviation, so we have an, uh, a better understanding of the distribution. Um, and let's go for standard deviation. 
standard deviation is 114. Okay, interesting. I already created the min and max. Um, so I'm gonna display it here as well. Map features. Objects, <laughs> statistics. Here we go, those two. I wanna have them as well in here. And you see the minimum is nine and the maximum is five, eight, one. Um, now I wanna classify those objects, right? Um, one tool that I think a lot of uh, users are not using is the object table. Ah, this is so cool because uh, you can actually plot or dis display in a table format uh, your objects and uh, features. So what you can do is you can select the class. I only want to display parcels and the feature. Okay, and that's gonna display all of my objects here. Um, and I need to change the feature. So I wanna have the number. Um, so uh, how is it called? Overlap, um, number of overlapping. So I wanna have the number of trees per parcel. And the cool thing about this image object table is that you can sort actually, right? And you can click on those entries and the object's gonna be highlighted and centered in the view. So let's see if this is consistent. So 581 is the highest number we get here. And that's also the output of the feature that we've computed. What's the lowest number? It's down here, nine. It's this object here, nine trees. Um, and that's also consistent here with the feature. If you now want to classify it, um, you, well, what I'm doing here is I'm using the assign class and I simply say, right, if the number of tree objects equal the maximum number, then I classify you into the class max. Uh, and uh, if it's the other way around, if it, the min value corresponds to your actual number or count of trees, then put me into the class min. And the result is the following. I have, okay, sorry, I quickly changed it. <laughs> I had a, a mistake here in my rule set. Um, but the nif definition is the following, right? Yeah, if, if those numbers uh, equal the max with the actual number of the object, then classify it into this maximum. Uh, let's see for this one, where is it? All right, it's green, so that's the object with the highest number of trees. And let's classify the minimum. Where is it? Down there. All right, so I think that was a nice exercise. Um, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy using this one. Uh, compute statistics and have a great day.